do it later. This is just a little information on gatekeepers. Um, and you can look up the scriptures uh, a little bit later. Because once we understand all three of these roles, we can work together to accomplish the will of the Father in the earth. Um, I I'd kind of spoken a little earlier about the gatekeeper. <clears throat> But look, look at this. Uh, gatekeepers are those who control access to certain spheres of influence. And in First Chronicles 9.22, all these who were chosen to be gatekeepers at the thresholds were 212 people. So let's look at look. Let's look real quick at some more. Um the Levites, number one, Levites as gatekeepers. In the Old Testament, Levites were appointed as gatekeepers for the temple. They were responsible for guarding the entrances and ensuring that nothing unclean entered the sacred place. So then there were divisions of gatekeepers <clears throat> that are described in 1 Chronicles 26 verses 1 through 5. They go through... Uh, the, uh, the family is a of Asap and Zechariah and uh, Obed-Edom and so forth. The, the Issachar, the whole, the whole thing. Then number two, we have gatekeepers that are in the New Testament. In the New Te Testament, the, uh, the concept of gatekeeper is extended and it's kind of metaphorical, but it's about those who are given authority in the church to oversee spiritual comings and goings what goes in and what comes out through discernment and even doctrinal integrity so in revelations 3 7 which you can look that up later it is to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these are the words of him who is holy and true who holds the key of david what he opens no one can shut and what he shuts no one can open speaking of authority and we're in that open and closed door season time this year that we're in and so that's authority not everyone is a gatekeeper you can't be a gatekeeper if you don't have authority first <laughs> okay so gatekeeper let's keep going i'm almost done gatekeepers responsibilities according to scripture they are guarding the the gatekeeper is vigilant they're watching for enemies and they are protecting those on the other side of the gate the inhabitants they are managing the entry they they control they they controlled who could enter ensuring that those who come in were meant to be there they keep order they are responsible for maintaining the sanctity and the order of the place that they guard it. Uh, the gatekeepers, they're working with the watchman and the intercessor. Uh, how? The shared vigilance. The gatekeeper and the watchman both watch diligently. While the watchman warns of spiritual dangers and revelations from a distance or a height like being on the wall. The gatekeeper operates at ground level, applying those warnings and insights by controlling the spiritual access. Uh, another thing, enforcement of divine will with the gatekeeper where the, and the watchman. Where the watchman may see and foresight foresee, it is the gatekeeper who enforces the insights provided allowing or disallowing spiritual influences based on the received directives from yes. the watchman. Yes. Here's another one. Support through prayer. The intercessor provides spiritual support through prayer. Yes. Possibly influencing what the gatekeeper allows to pass through the gate. So it's symbiotic. It's a symbiotic relationship where the intercessor prays for guidance and protection over the decisions 
made by the gatekeeper and the insight received by the watchman. All right? So that just gives us an idea of how these are intertwined and working together. Gatekeepers in society, just so you get a clearer understanding, and then I'm done. Uh, people on editorial boards, they decide which books or articles get published. They're the gatekeepers of information. Uh, number two, academic admissions committees. They're gatekeepers. They determine who gets accepted into programs. We need, we need, we need gatekeepers in our cluster. Number three, human resource managers. They control the hiring process and gatekeep entry into a company. They're the gatekeeper. You going for a job? You want to know who the gatekeeper is. You're going to as from your job and making trying to make a sale. You want to know who the gatekeeper is. Investors. They act as gatekeepers to financial resources for startups and businesses. Uh, curators, they select artwork for galleries, shaping culture, discourse, and trends. That's what a curator does. So, gatekeepers are powerful people. And and we and we have to know that because the authority that they have is they're like a yes and no. <laughs> we will allow, we will disallow. You can go, but not you or you can't go. Gatekeepers, they're big on the on the thing. And they don't have to be up high. They can be right there on the ground level, but they, they take that alert. And they say, oh, no, you they're like the one that stumps the thing that stamps the thing in the ground. And they're like, you will not pass. <laughs> All right. So that'll be on the video. So you can have that. Uh.